Well, hello. Uh, the weather's been better today. This is uh, part three of uh, my little rant about uh, the Green Man. Uh, we are pretty much there with this sculpture. So I've done some refining today. I've got the pupils in there. Uh, I've used a slightly different technique with the pupils. As you can see, I've actually just done a an offset uh, couple of lines here so we've got a longer deep cut in there and a smaller cut there pan out and it looks like he's looking very slightly up and to one side i have got that lovely big open mouth singing away and uh, yeah you tell me what you think he's singing or saying for that matter so uh, I've done some sort of big sweeps down at the bottom, created a bit more of a sort of coronet type uh, cut at the top there. We've got lots of leaves going on. And uh, my little secret to make this a usable space for wildlife is I've created a, a nesting box in the back. The entrance is the dude's mouth. So uh, I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out. Um, just uh, pop that back in there, lock it. A nice little uh, wooden handle there. So yeah, so this is it. Uh, we've got, what have we got down here? We've got a little bird poking out of the hole there. We've also got a uh, another little bird on the front there. So, contrary to my sort of musings about the Green Man, the Green Man originally, apparently, is a, a symbol of life and rebirth. Uh, it occurs mostly in churches. You'll see it on the end of pews. You'll see it in uh, particularly sort of medieval churches um, it was uh, no one really knows when the, the first sort of musings of a green man were if you like but uh, moving on to sort of I don't know post Norman conquest a lot of the churches ended up with uh, the green man face carved into it somewhere now uh, there's lots of different types of green man apparently some of them have more of a, a feel of roots uh, this one i've done has a feel of leaves a lot of them concentrate on oak leaves you'll see i've gone for um a sort of i would say it's more of a beech leaf uh, even though it's a softwood that i'm carving this in and so uh, the, the 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 purpose of it coming out of the corner of his mouth and out of the corners of his out of the corners nostrils out of his nostrils and uh, creating hair but particularly actually coming out of his mouth is uh, <clears throat> apparently significant as to uh, the spewing out of new life so my uh, inadvertent sort of desire to create this uh, uh, hole for the I think it's probably about the right size for a blue tit or a wren or something like that, but a, a little hole here for the birds to go in and out. Actually, what is going to come out of his mouth is new life. So I'll leave you with that and uh, take some more photos. I've got this lovely stormy sky in the background. I love this when you've got uh, the darkness of the sky last of the sunshine coming in. I suspect we're due a bit of a patch of rain this afternoon.